Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we will be making another classic cocktail, this time the Ward 8. Now the Ward 8 is what happens when a tequila sunrise and a whiskey sour have a baby. So during the video, we're gonna go ahead and make a Ward 8. We're gonna talk about the cocktail family and the structure and stay tuned to the very end because we will be modifying this recipe to show you how flexible and fun this cocktail can be. Hi, I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that loves making fun and interesting cocktails. So we're gonna make the Ward 8 here in a second, but before we do, I have some issues with this cocktails and cocktails like this. So in my opinion, the Ward 8 just is flat. It's not very interesting and doesn't have the structure needed to support this cocktail. So what I mean by that is the Ward 8 actually sits in the cocktail family of a sour. The structure of a sour is a base spirit, acid, and sweetness. Now, when we look at the recipe for a Ward 8, you do have a base spirit, which is your rye whiskey. But when you look at the acid and the sweetness, this is where things start to unravel a little bit. On the acid side, you have lemon juice, but only half an ounce. So you're lacking the intensity of that lemon juice to really support the rest of the drink. There is a little bit of acid in the orange juice, but it is far outweighed by the sweetness, which brings me to that ingredient. The majority of the sweetness is coming from this cocktail is from the grenadine, but also the orange juice. So when you combine all of these ingredients together, what you're left with is kind of a round style cocktail without the acidity to really support the rest of the ingredients. So this is the problem I have with the Ward 8 and cocktails like this. So we're gonna go ahead and make the original Ward 8, but later on, we're gonna go ahead and modify it to give it a little bit more structure and make it a little bit more interesting. To make the Ward 8, we're gonna go ahead and start by building everything in our cheater tin. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our base spirit, rye whiskey. Then our lemon juice. Now that we have all the ingredients in, the only thing left to do is to add some ice and shake it and strain it. And for the garnish for the Ward 8, we're just gonna simply do a cocktail cherry. There we have it, the classic Ward 8. Cheers. Now it's time to actually taste the Ward 8. It's a pretty flat cocktail, I'm not gonna lie. But it does give me some interesting ideas. So there we have it, the Ward 8. Pretty flat and not very structurally sound in my opinion. So let's go ahead and modify it. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. So now that we know the cocktail family, we can apply some really cool techniques. So the very first technique that we're gonna apply is a base spirit substitution. So we're gonna move away from rye and we're gonna go to a sweeter style uh, American single malt with this product here. At the same exact time, we're gonna do what is known as a split base. So we're gonna remove some of that whiskey and we're gonna replace it with a new product we just got in called Fabrizio Lemon this will add some nice aromatics and some nice vibrancy, which is what this cocktail actually needs. So to make this version of the Ward 8, we're gonna go ahead and start off in our cheater tin as always. So straight to the cheater tin, we're gonna go ahead and add our American single malt. Then we're gonna go ahead and use our limoncello. And we're just gonna go through the rest of our ingredients as well. The only thing left to do is add ice, shake, and strain.
Now to garnish this version of the Ward 8, we're gonna go ahead and do a lemon peel with a maraschino cherry in it. There we have it, our version of the Ward 8. Now it is time to go ahead and taste them side by side. And we've already tasted this, we have the commentary on it, but I think it's also important to go back and refresh your palate and try to remember it, especially as we're gonna compare it to our 8.1 version of the Ward 8. So, back to the original. Not a lot of character, not a lot of depth. It just is flat. Not a lot of aromatics. It just is a very uncompelling cocktail. So now let's try it side by side with the 8.1. Mm. That is so much better. It's just richer, it's rounder, it goes deeper. The flavor just carries on a lot longer. The limoncello that we use in there really picks up the entire cocktail and makes it just more vibrant. Um, it's a fresher tasting cocktail. Just a couple of small tweaks to it. Um, this is remarkably different from the original and so much better in my opinion. So there we have it. We have made the Ward 8 and the Ward 8.1. We have talked about the structure and some of the shortcomings of the original cocktail and we have fixed it by rebalancing a couple of key ingredients. Now this brings me to one of the main points of this entire video and that is balance is so foundational when it comes to cocktail creation, even much more so than fancy techniques or really fancy spirits. Mastering balance really will transform your cocktail making skills. So if you found this video interesting, I highly recommend taking a look at some of the courses we offer, in particular, the Mixology Certification, where we go into a very deep dive on all things cocktail creation. You can find those courses over at learn.abarbub.com. So we're gonna have some more cocktail videos like this in the future, but until then, I hope you guys are enjoying your favorite version of the Ward 8.1. Cheers. <laughs>